Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where is all of this headed in the near future. So let's jump right in. As always, it's a general love reading, so we're not resonating with every Sagittarius watching. So just keep that in mind. If this does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Sagittarius. I'll have it pinned in the comments. Spirit Angels Guides, messages for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius when it comes to love. This reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. For Sagittarius. Oh, we got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Could also be that this is an early connection we'll see all of the decks that i'm using are linked in the description box as well as the rings that i'm wearing if you're curious all right spirit what else can you tell me about this connection what else can you tell me about this connection between sagittarius and this other person Okay, we got the main female card. What else? What else can you tell me? Marriage, number three. The marriage card can mean a few things. Um, same thing with the main female. It could be that this is something that's headed towards marriage. Um, and then I have at the bottom of the deck pathway. This is a card about like a long time. Um, like things that take a while, a waiting period, a long journey. So this new love could be headed towards something long term. Um, of course, some of you could be dealing with a situation where one of you is already married. But um, I feel like uh, I feel like with this main female card, like someone caught this person's eye. And there is potential here. For more we'll see Let me put these to the side here all right so let's dig in I have two decks here one for you one for your person um, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more Sagittarius all right so tell me more about the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection tell me more about the energies Sagittarius bringing to this connection. Fish. Okay, so you're not sure. There's something that you're not sure about or your person, this is how you're seeing them. How many more in spirit about Sagittarius? This is about not knowing what direction you're headed, not sure. Kind of going with the flow. Okay, we got Bountiful Harvest, Growth, Abundance, Patience. Plant seeds now, watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So, um, once again, I get, I get this sense of potential for growth, for expansion. Wanting to spend time on something that will lead to something long term or will lead to something abundant but you know that takes time tell me more spirit about Sagittarius tell me more about Sagittarius more about Sagittarius, please. What Sagittarius thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Okay, let's see what we get. Tell me about Sagittarius spirit. Temperance reverse. It's your own energy there, Sagittarius. 
what else? Six of Cups, wow. Temperance reverses a card about needing more time, more patience, more energy to make something come into balance because things are not really balanced right now. I think this is related to a soulmate or something in the past. We'll clarify. Tell me more about Temperance Reverse. Why is Temperance Reverse? The Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy, feeling stuck. Um, maybe no movement, no action. Tell me about Temperance Reverse. Four of Cups, disinterest, being closed off to new opportunities. Hmm. Eight of Coin. It's almost like waiting for something is hard for you. Like the harder something is, the less you're interested. Or you are closed off to something new because you're still thinking of the past in some way or there's some sort of tie to the past in some way. There, there, there hasn't been, if, if you're in that second group, there hasn't been a full moving on from the past that has happened. Ace of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. What's behind that? The Sun reversed. So, you know, there's 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 a delayed new beginning here. Um, there's feeling dissatisfied, unhappy. Now, remember, this could be flipped. So if the energies resonate more flipped, feel free to flip them. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups. King of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, there's something here regarding a past situation. Knight of Coin. King of Wands reverse Knight of Coin. I feel like these are two different energies. You could be having to choose between two different people, Sagittarius. I'm also picking up that maybe someone um, isn't able to recover something that they've lost or have a new opportunity because it's going to take more time with the Knight of Coin. Because the Five of Cups reverse could be a card about wanting to recover what has been missing. But the Knight of Coin is very slow. They take their time. They're very dependable and reliable, but it takes takes them a long time to get to their goal or um, they take their time on purpose. King of Wands reverse is typically um, someone who is difficult to deal with. Um, they may jump into things without looking, have a temper problem. They don't really, um, they care about themselves mostly. So, you know, take it as it resonates. Either this is an energy of someone who is, you know, has a temper issue and is an authoritarian or, you know, cares more about their own needs than others. Or this could be somebody who doesn't have the courage or is not able to take action here. This could have also been something that happened in the past. And now someone's thinking about a new opportunity here, making a new offer or wanting a new opportunity for themselves. Can I get one more for this King of Wands reverse? Why is the King of Wands reverse? King of Wands reverse. Three of Swords reverse. This could have been somebody that was unfaithful. 
This could have been somebody that um, could have been deceptive and hurt you deeply. There's something here that this person let get in the way, whatever it is. I feel like this might have happened in the past. Um, let's see, let's dive into your person. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with spirit. Tell me more about this other person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me more about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Okay, we got the whale energy. A lot of depth hidden uh, um, or more not not hidden but more like uh, someone who is very calm collected older typically wiser um, also with this card sometimes I get someone who is um, they suppress a lot they hold a lot in tell me more about this person Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. What Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me more about this person. Difficult decision, options, choice, and decision. This decision could lead you down two different paths. Very interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have patiently waiting. Almost like someone's waiting for this person to make a decision. It's a difficult choice. There's a choice between two. Two paths, the past or the future or two very different outcomes here. Tell me more about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Five of Wands. Drama, conflict, competition, arguments, page of pentacles. Hmm. Page of pentacles is very new energy. Um, like starting something new that has potential, asking someone out. Bottom of the deck, I have temperance. There you are, Sagittarius, showing up to your own reading here. Again, there's like um, a feeling of time, waiting, patience. Let's see, tell me about this Five of Wands. Why is this Five of Wands here? Two of Wands reverse. Interesting. Tell me about this Five of Wands. Can get one more, please? Ten of Swords reverse. I think this decision is regarding some sort of cycle ending for someone and it's going to cause drama. But I feel like this is someone who is stepping into their own. Um, it's almost like this is someone that this is that whale energy, this king of pentacles. This is someone who they know that this is going to happen, but it's almost like they're prepared to deal with it. The king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Uh, this is someone very serious, uh, very careful about the choices that they make. Um, this is someone who thinks before they act. And they've made a decision, I feel. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Cups. Um, I heard that, okay, I just heard listening to their heart. 
So this King of Pentacles, which is kind of strange because usually King of Pentacles, um, they don't get swayed by emotions, but I feel like this King of Pentacles is specifically doing something because their heart is telling them to do it. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? There's that King of Wands reversed again. Interesting. Why is the Two of Cups reverse? Can I get one more please for this Page of Pentacles? Three of Cups reverse. There's definitely some sort of interference here. Whether that's fear, finances, another partner, family, job, long distance, fill in the blank. Whatever it is, it's causing, um, you know, it could be um, the, the actual third party interference could be another partnership because I have the two of cups reversed here. But it could also be interpreted as whatever is interfering is causing a disconnect in an existing connection. Now, this King of Pentacles reverse is, I mean, King of Pentacles reverse, sorry. King of Wands reverse is throwing me for a loop. He's shown up twice on your person's side and on your side. And it's not this King of Pentacles. I'll tell you that right now. So I feel like this is someone else. Some, some person here that could get in the way. Maybe this is all connected here. And almost it's like this other person could be someone new, something new. You're definitely, okay, some of you are definitely dealing with someone who's in a long-term commitment already. The bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. So there could very well be someone who's already in some sort of long-term commitment. Or it could be that um, that's where this is possibly headed because I have a Knight of Cups there. Let's see, what would this person tell you? Or what are they thinking or feeling? I'm gonna use my um, Secret Moon Oracle deck here. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Sagittarius or this connection spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Sagittarius or this connection spirit? What are you thinking or feeling? I see you in my dreams. Can I get one more? It's all my fault. So something here, this person, I mean, that could mean so many things, it's all my fault, but, um, I feel like this person has not been able to stop thinking about you despite what has happened between you. Where's all of this headed in the near future spirit? What's next for this connection between Sagittarius and this other person? What's next? What's next? next for this connection I'm gonna pick a couple of cards what's next for this connection spirit okay we got the knight nope the page of wands sorry this deck is princess is the page prince is the knight so this is the page of wands okay what's next for this connection death Scorpio energy, some sort of change or ending, some sort of transformation. What else? What else? Where's all of this headed in the new future? Six of swords, some sort of departure. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Pentacles again. 
So there could be some communication coming in with the Page of Wands, but there's definitely going to be some sort of change due to an ending here. And that change or ending is someone leaving a situation, moving on, moving forward. This person could very well um, open up the lines of communication. You also have the Page of Pentacles on their end, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Coin came out twice. So it's almost like there's an intention here. What was on this side? Okay, the choice. Okay. I feel like that choice, that difficult decision that this person is making is regarding an ending because they have the Ten of Swords reversed. So this could be your person causing a change in this connection. Very big um, change. And I feel like it's going to start with someone taking that first step with the Page of Wands. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.